we are discussing about convolutions over volume. Example, you take this input image, which is four by four. This image size is four by four, means four pixels in four pixels we are taking in the, the rows. You can observe here, first row, second row, third row, fourth row, and four columns we are having, second column, third column, fourth column. So this image is having 16 pixels. 16 pixels information. Until now, we have discussed about the grayscale image and each pixel, we are representing each pixel value, we are representing in between 0 and 255. But now if we are co considering the color images, then the color information of this particular pixel, we are representing with three bands, a red, green, and blue. We represent the red information in 0 to 255 range and green information 0 to 255 range and blue information in 0 to 255 range. Means whatever may be the color in this pixel, in this particular pixel, we are representing that color in this pixel by using the RGB only. So for each pixel, we will have R value, G value and B value. Like that, we have 16 pixels. So now we are having 4 by 4 by 3. Because this 3 is coming because we are using the red value, green value, and blue value. For each pixel, now we are considering 3 value. That's why now I am representing this image. You can see the, uh, the image I have represented by using 3 layers. Means this example, this image size is 6 by 6. Then these three layers are representing this is the equivalent red pixel information of the image, and this is equivalent green pixel information of the image, and this is equivalent blue pixel information, blue color information of that image. Generally, we call this six as height and six as width of that image. Example, if it is a six by six image, the height of the image is six and the width of the image is six. And we call these three as the channels. We are taking three channels. One is red channel and a blue channel. And the third one is a green channel. Now we are also considering the filter, which is having three by three size kernel. The height and width of the kernel is three by three. And we are considering the three channels of the filter in order to apply to the three channels of the input image. First channel of the filter, we are applying to the first channel of the input image. Second channel of the filter, we are applying to the second channel of the input image. And the third channel of the filter, we are applying to the third channel of the input image. After the, after the convolution for a particular pixel, example for the first pixel, we will add after the multiplication with the filter. Example, we have considered a small area. If it is 3 by 3, then we are considering this also 3 by 3. We have multiplied the values of this image patch with the filter and then we have multiplied after addition we have got example a single value and similarly we are getting the single value for blue color blue, blue channel and for the green channel also finally we add all the channel information in order to get the feature map so finally we get the feature map four by four size which is having only one channel uh, as we are discuss as we have already discussed, six is the input image and minus three because we have considered the filter size as three. And at this moment, we are thinking there is we are using valid padding or no padding, and we have considered only stride one. So six minus three plus one, which is four. So the output feature map size is four by four. Now the image we have considered is a six by six image. This is the red channel information, this is green channel information and blue channel information. We have considered a three by three filter and this filter is having three channels. We are applying first channel of the filter to red channel of the input image, second channel of the filter to green channel of the input image and third channel of the filter to blue channel of the input image. There is no necessity that all the values in these three filters should be same. These three filters, these three channels of the filter, instead of calling three filters, this is only one filter. In this one filter, we are having three channels. So these three channels value may be different. And finally, after convolving this filter with the input image, we will get a feature map. The size of the feature map is four by four. Because this is a filter, 
and it is having three channels we can represent this filter with the volume information it is like a cube you can think as of now we have considered filter is having only height and width now we are adding an another dimension which is called a channel how many channels in the input image we are taking those many channels we are considering even for the filter also so you can assume like we are applying this volume filter to this rgb image and we are having 27 parameters here these 27 parameters of this filter are updated based on the loss we are getting in the final stage by using the back propagation every for every training sample we update this weight update weights or we can call parameters of the filters now after the convolution operation of this volume volume or you can think a filter with three channels we will get one value and we will fill the feature map matrix here with that value similarly we are shifting it and the second value is filled here you can observe we have fixed we have shifted it by one pixel so stride is zero sorry stride is one when the stride is one then only it can shift by one pixel stride is one means we are not taking any stride even default value of that and we have shifted one pixel again like that we have got the feature map four by four feature map similarly when we are taking two filters maybe one filter is extracting the information of the vertical edges and one filter is extracting the information of the horizontal edges then we will get the two feature maps each having the size four by four so four by four by two is representing that the feature map size is four by four and we have two such feature maps the number of feature maps always depends on the number of filters we are taking if we take 32 filters then 32 feature maps we have and the size of the feature map depends upon the size of the input image and the size of the kernel or filter we are taking but in the real time when we are applying the filter to the image in the convolution layer we after getting the feature map we will add the bias b1 to this feature map this bias is added to this feature map and after that we will apply the non-linearity rectified linear unit to this and then we will send it for the further either we can send it for pooling and then for the dense or we will flatten it and we can classify that similarly we will do the same thing for the second filter feature map also we are applying another bias b2 we are adding this bias b2 so now here we have 27 parameters for this filter for this filter 27 parameters total 54 54 plus 2 this bias 1 bias 2 56 parameters we have to update every time you can think at this moment even these feature maps we can stack these feature maps and now we can consider it as a 4 by 4 by 2 where 4 and 4 it is indicating height and width and 2 is indicating the channel information how many channels we have our volume information you can now we are discussing about a small problem we have 10 filters and each filter each kernel size is 3 by 3 and each filter our kernel is having three channels so how many parameters we have for a layer because it is 3 by 3 so 9 into 3 27 parameters for one filter including bias it is 28 because we have 10 filters 28 into 10 it is 280 parameters now we, now we have considered an input image 39 by 39 by 3 example then the filters we have considered 10 filters and the filter size is 3 uh, because we are not considering the padding p is equal to 0 stride is equal to 1 so the output size is 39 plus 3 minus 1 39 because the input image size and the filter size is 3 so 39 plus 3 minus sorry 39 minus 3 plus 1 39 minus filter size 
plus 1 it is equal to 37 so we have 37 by 37 feature map and because we have 10 filters 37 by 37 by 10 now in the later stage we have considered another layer so now we are considering input 37 plus 2 into padding padding is 0 minus filter 5 we are taking the kernel size 5 by 5 and this time we have considered straight 2 plus 1 so 37 minus 5 32 by 2 16 16 plus 1 is equal to 17 so feature map size is 17 by 17 and because we are having 20 filters the feature map is having 20 channels similarly we have considered the another layer now the input is 17 so 17 padding is not there 17 plus 0 minus 5 because we have considered a 5 by 5 kernel and stride is 2 17 minus 5 12 by 2 6 plus 1 so 7 7 by 7 feature map size and because we have considered 40 filters this feature map is having 40 channels in the final stage this 7 into 7 into 40 1960 features we are giving to 1960 neurons then we are calling this process as a flattening in the final stage we are taking a single neuron to classify whether in the given image cat is there or dog is there like that but in real time after the convolution layer we will use the pooling and after that may be max pooling or average pooling or in recent times uh, we can use covariance pooling also and after that we will send it for the flattening so different layers in convolutional neural network is convolution layer we have discussed as of now and the pooling layer we will discuss later and fully connected layer means we are flattening and then finally we are using the dense connections then it is called as fully connected layer in the convolution layer we are taking the input image and we are convolving it with filter our stack of filters we are taking more than one filters also if the input image is having more than one channel if it is rgb image then we are taking three channels of the filter finally we are getting the feature map we are adding the bias parameter to this feature map and then we are applying the non-linearity activation function we are applying either relu we can use or tan h we can use uh, now we are using example relu and then we are sending it for the pooling finally the pooling reduces the number of features after that we are sending it for the fully connected layer fully connected layer in the fully connected layer the flattening will be done the the features the flattened features are given in given to neurons and then we observe some dense connections in the final layer we observe we can use it for the classifying the image whether it is a cat image or a dog image you can observe here the pictorial information this is the red color information red channel information of the pixel green cha channel information and this is blue channel information we have applied five kernels five filters each filter is having three channels you see here each filter is having three channels and this is the feature map i uh, means this is the multiplied output only this is the multiplied output only after that this is the red channel information green channel information and blue channel information means we are multiplying these particular filter with the entire red channel and then with the entire the, the second channel of the filter with the green channel and the third channel of the filter with the blue channel and finally we are adding all these first pixel informations of the red blue and green then we are finally getting the original feature map after the after we are getting the feature map we are sending it to uh, pooling we will observe the animation in order to understand it clearly now you observe here we have considered a filter this is a filter and this filter this is the one channel of the filter this is the second channel of the filter this is the third channel of the filter you can assume this is the red channel of the input image green channel of the input image and this is the blue channel of the input image we are multiplying the filter information with this and finally we are multiplying with this 
we are multiplying with this we get a value here to so let's call that value as a we get another value here call that value as a b now we will get another value that is c now we will sum up a plus b plus c and the result is 2 similarly when we take the second channel uh, second filter this is the second filter second second filter channel 1 we have applied to this second filter channel 2 we have applied to this second filter channel 3 we have applied to this and after that we are getting we are getting some values for example like this is d this is e this is f we are adding d e f and the final value is minus 8 so output feature map volume is 3 by 3 by 2 3 by 3 is indicating its size and 2 is indicating that it is having two channels we are taking the bias 0 bias is 0 b0 and b1 uh, means b0 we are considering it as a 1 and uh, b1 we are taking it as 0 after adding the feature map to the bias we will apply the nonlinearity relu now we will discuss one fundamental aspect that is we are considering here padding 1 this is uh, that's why you observe in the outermost layer you can observe zeros if you want to know what is the size of the feature map in the last layer you can take the input image size the input image size is 5 by 5 so we are considering the input image size 5 by 5 plus padding 2 into 1 that is 7 minus filter 3 7 minus 3 4 4 by we are taking here the straight 2 so 4 by 2 2 plus 1 this is equal to 3 so output is 3 by 3 if we would have considered the stride only 1 then this is a 5 by 5 image which is same as the input image because we have considered the stride as 2 it will shift here for the next calculation now we will observe this animation in order, in order to understand clearly you can observe here how it is moving with the stride 2 this is we are up we, we have applied for the second filter Now we will see the practical implementation in the Python. In the Jupyter Notebook, we are observing the Kano 2D layer in Keras. We discussed already when we are taking the kernel size 3 by 3 and the input image size 28 by 28. Finally, we are getting the output feature map size 28 plus padding, padding because we have not used valid means no padding, 28 plus 0 minus 3 because filter size is 3 3 by 3 so we have considered as 3 and we have not used strides so we have considered only stride is equal to 1 and finally we are getting 26 so this is the feature map size 26 by 26 by 64 and number of parameters is equal to 640 uh, why 640 means we are taking 26 by 26 means we are considering the filters here how many filters we have considered 3 by 3 we have we have considered the filter 3 by 3 how many filters we have considered 64 so 9 into 64 576 plus we are taking the bias parameter for each filter so total it is equivalent to 640 okay now we are interested to take 28 by 28 by 3 image means we are taking an RGB image. In the input now we have three channels. When we have three channels in the input image, now the filters also we will consider we are having three by three kernel with three channels. The output feature map size remains as 26 by 26 only because there is no change in the size of the input image and padding our filter size, our stride. 
but the number of parameters vary why number of parameter vary because we are considering now three channels now 3 into 3 into 3 means 27 now 27 into 64 so 27 into 64 plus 64 so 28 into 64 which is equal to 28 into 64 so 1792 now we will verify this one i have changed it to 28 by 28 by 3 i am executing this one i am executing next line you observe here the number of parameters 1792 now for example we are considering the strides uh, we are taking a stride 2 now n is equal to 28 because the input image size is 28 and we have considered the same padding uh, in the same padding the padding size depends on p is equal to f minus 1 by 2 means 3 minus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 so 2 into 1 is equal to 2 and the filter or kernel size is 3 by 3 so 28 plus 2 minus 3 by 2 by 2 because we are taking the stride 2 so it is 30 minus 3 27 by 2 integer division 13 13 plus 1 14 so when we execute this one we will get the 14 by 14 image 14 by 14 feature map so we will execute this one you observe here 14 by 14 feature map with 1792 parameters if we change it to only one channel then there is no change in the feature map output size 14 by 14 but the parameters changes from the 1792 to 640 range because now we are considering only one channel in the filter we are executing this one so this is what we are discussing so we have discussed how to apply volume information or three channel input information to the convolution layer and the different aspects how we are taking the different channels of the kernel and uh, how to get the feature map the while con uh, what is happening while convolution of these three channels filter with the three input channels we discussed in this lecture